Hi, I'm Jason. This video is an introduction to the playlist on game theory. In many situations, your outcome depends on others' behavior. Their outcome depends on your behavior. Similarly, your strategy will depend on your belief about others' strategy. Their strategy depends on their beliefs about your strategy. Game theory studies this st strategic interaction between players. We can solve strategic problems using the tools of game theory. A game has the following components. First, the players of the game. Most of the games we examine in these videos involve two players. Second, the actions that each player can take. For example, to contribute to a common pool or to defect. Third, the strategies that comprise a complete contingent plan of action. That is, for any given scenario or action by another player, a strategy specifies the action to be taken by the player. Fourth, the information available to the players. In these notes, we generally assume perfect information. And finally, the payoffs, which comprise a complete summary of the value to each player of each set of actions. In game theoretical analysis, we typically assume that the players are rational optimizers who understand the game that they are playing. By rational, we mean that the player is aware of their alternatives, forms expectations about any unknowns, has preferences that conform to the axioms of completeness and transitivity, and they choose the best option using some optimization algorithm. We also assume that the players assume other players are also rational optimizers who understand the game. We weaken this assumption when we analyze behavioral game theory. There are many different types of games analyzed in game theory. Some of the delineations between these games are as follows. First, games are often, div often divided into cooperative and non-cooperative games. In non-cooperative games, players are not allowed to negotiate binding contracts. In cooperative games, players are allowed to negotiate binding contracts that allow them to implement joint strategies. In these notes, I'll focus on non-cooperative games. Second, games can involve simultaneous or sequential moves. In a simultaneous move game, you make decisions without knowing the action of your rival. In sequential games, players make sequential decisions knowing the action of the other player. We will examine both of these types of games in these videos.